What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. This video is going to be focused on trying to fix your texture issues you're having with Call of Duty Warzone on PC. Your graphics either aren't loading in, objects aren't loading, your gun's not on the screen, walls and different objects and buildings look kind of clayish or N64-ish. Hopefully this is going to solve that problem. I'm going to show you guys how I did and we're going to get right into it. So first thing you're going to do is make sure your Battle.net app is off. Um, it's closed down, it's not running in the background, and then you should be good to go. We're going to go down here to the search bar and type in percent program data percent and hit enter. And that will bring up a folder. There's two folders in here we got to delete. The first one is battle.net and the second one should be Blizzard Entertainment. In my case, it's not here right now, but there should be another folder labeled Blizzard Entertainment. You're going to want to delete that one as well. Okay, so now that you have those folders deleted, what you're going to do is open up your Battle.net app again. It's going to log you in. And when it pops up, your game is going to say install instead of play. Now you didn't uninstall your game, you just uninstalled some data that the game was using from that folder. So what we got to do is click install. We're not installing the game again. Instead, we're going to tell it where the game is actually installed. So you're going to go to install location, change folder. You're going to go to wherever your game was installed. In my case, it's under my drive D, under Warzone folder, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And then click start install. So it, again, it's going to say installing, but it's not. It's actually just shaking hands with it, making sure it all works. It's going to say updating. And once this is done, it should only take a few seconds, depending on how it's feeling. And then you would launch the game. And there's some in-game settings that we have to talk about as well. So once we get to that point, that's where we'll pick off. Or pick up, pick off, pick up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit play. I did have a pop-up that was for the Battle.net agent asking for permission. You just go ahead and click yes, and then it's done after that. So we're going to launch this. Before we even jump into a match, we're going to see if we're going to see what our settings are looking like. We're going to see if there's anything we can do there to uh, to help it out. There's certain tricks people use. Other videos. I'm just going to grab an all in the one. Um, part of it involves disabling texture streaming, which mine should already be set to. But there's some other options in there too. Like your, your texture resolution, for example, um, image occlusion, and aliasing stuff like that. Let's let's look at that first. We're gonna go to options. We're gonna go to graphics display. There shouldn't be much under here. Dynamic resolutions off. Um, 1080p. So reflex low latency. Hmm. Well, latency mode is now enabled and optimizing for system latency additional GPU clock boost kept uh, let's go ahead and let's disable this we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna try this out we're gonna disable that we're gonna go to quality streaming quality normal texture resolution high which is fine should be fine filter and that's a tropic is off particle quality shouldn't that shouldn't matter bullet impact spray should matter tessellation off on demand texture streaming disabled and if we still have issues we're gonna we're gonna go in and start disabling more into aliasing is set to 1x depth of field off motion blur is off shadow map resolution normal cache spot and sun shadows disabled particle lighting normal direct x-ray tracing is off ambient occlusion is off and normal SSR that should be fine. I mean, my computer can run, should be able to run all this maxed, but it's, the game is having issues, so I'm trying to do what I can. Let's see what happens when we load the menu up for the first time after reinstalling some program data. Okay, the backdrop popped up almost instantly, which is good. Usually it's black for a minute. Give it a second to load in some textures. Because remember, we we don't have any 
data for it to draw from, so it's loading everything in. There she is, operators. This is another test. Let's see how quick they pop up, how quick they load in. Obviously, they're not going to look the best. It scares me that it's taking a sec for those textures to really sharpen up. All right, so these guys are loading in weapons. Let's just go to our weapons here and see what's uh, what's happening. Those are loading in. That's good. Normally, it takes a few seconds for me, but that's quicker. All right, so we're going to get into a game. I'm not going to make you sit and wait through the queue. Let's see when we're there. All right, so we found a match. We're queued in. About ready to drop in. Hopefully everything goes well. Normally when we're in the plane and we're looking around up in the air, everything's fine. Everything's great. doesn't matter what settings I have. It's always fine up in the air. It's when you deploy the chute. You can, initially you hear like an audio lag or it starts to skip an audio for me. And then when I land, stuff's not loaded in here and there, or it just takes forever. That doesn't... Let's see here. We're going to fly kind of quickly in somewhere, see what happens. Oh, no, look. Okay, we're here. Oh, oh it's a little quicker. It's loading in quicker than before. Still not great. I have everything, like you saw in the settings, turned down, other than the texture resolution itself. But I shouldn't have to turn that down to normal on this system. Guns here. You're done warming up. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. Maybe it's just the initial, you know, mishap when it loads it in. Maybe once it loads it, it'll, it'll remember it, and it's not going to do that. We'll see. What I'm also going to do is start turning shit back up once I get in there. And if it's loaded right, I can start to, you know, get it to how I like it again. Hopefully. Hope this fixes the problem. The two big things are those folders that we deleted, and then having um, the on-demand texture streaming disabled. Where are we gonna go? Alright, drop it in. Mm, I see my hands, that's good. I'm not really hearing that audio lag I, I used to hear. Granted, audio is completely separate from graphical issues, but... There's somebody here, it's fine. All right, lads, get it done. It's not the best. Into the area. Watch the skies. Ah. Not, still not loading in quite right. Yeah, it's still, still messed up. What are we going to do about that? 